It's uh, kind of a crazy day. I'm actually not usually freaking out in front of people, but today's a little different. Um, for the new faces in the crowd here today, my name is Dan, obviously. I'm Taryn and Tegan's stepfather. I'm Taylor's partner in crime and uh, I'm Shelly's better half. <laughs> we first want to welcome all of you guys here today and thank you all for being a part of this awesome day. The weather was perfect. The venue is unreal, okay? And I just want to say to you, Taryn, because everyone needs to know that this whole vision, everything today, she saw, she has it in her mind and she created it. You know, I mean, we all know the stress. We know how hard it was. We know everything about it. I mean, you've told us all, so we you know. But, um, but seriously, thank you. You did phenomenal. It turned out perfect, and everyone wants to thank you because you made your day even better. So you did awesome. So I want to tell everybody here how actually happy we are that Cal has seen this thing through, okay? We all, we all know it's not been the easiest thing to do at times. I, I tease Taryn how she needs to go easy on him. I've given her a hard time about, you know, let him win once in a while, don't win every fight. You know, let him drive the car now, and she drove yesterday, it was good to see. It was, it was good. Yeah. I said, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, he doesn't, if he has to go to the bathroom, he'll tell you. You don't got to ask him before you guys go on trips. <laughs> and maybe you let him, you know, pick out his clothes once in a while. Look at him. Does he look good? Yeah! Yeah. yeah. What? Are you serious? <laughs> you're, uh, you're not, not, not helping my case here for you, man. You're not helping me. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. In all seriousness, Cal is a patient and very wonderful, and I keep saying young man, but I mean just man, he's a very young, very wonderful, wonderful man. One of my favorite memories of him is when he came to talk to us and asked for permission to marry Taryn. Now, I really don't remember what they were home for, I don't recall what, what it was, but I do remember he asked to talk to me in the front porch, okay? and. Um, I go out there and he was very confident and you know sincere. It was almost like it was his first time asking me that question. Was it? <laughs> okay, okay, maybe we'll, we'll cross that bridge later. Okay, um, and I said to him, I said, hey, before I go much farther, you and I gotta go on a car ride. Now, I really don't know also if he thought it'd be his last car ride he ever had in his entire life. <laughs> You know, but I, it was easy to see his relief when he pulled up in front of Trent's house. Okay, so we knock on the door, and Trent opens the door, and he says, I said, hey, Cal's got a question he wants to talk to us about. And Trent goes, wow, Dan, if you've got a drink in your hand already, it's got to be a good one. <laughs> you know? So, again, he was, he, was, uh, he was confident, he was sincere, he was everything you wanted someone to be. And so he asks, he was respectful. Trent said, yes. I said, I'm not really sure yet. I, we'll, we'll discuss it later, you know. And, uh, but today's the day we're all pretty confident. You're the man. You're the, you're the guy for her. It's, you're a, a good pair, you two. But on a different note, we wanted, we wanted you to know how comfortable it was to walk down the aisle, okay, trying not to cry, okay, it was, yeah, we saw it, everyone saw it, <laughs> trying not to cry, but it, was, it made us feel comfortable that you were at the other end of the aisle, okay, it made it just that we walked down and, because Cal, you are strong, and I don't mean strong working out, everybody can see that, everybody knows that about you, you're strong in that way, okay, but you, you are strong in character, okay, you, 
shook with you. Everybody can see here how much that you love and respect this little girl. Everybody can see it. And you wear like a badge of honor, man. Okay? And we appreciate it. We all appreciate you. Thank you. To our little Miss Taryn. Okay, I was lucky enough to meet Taryn when she was seven. Is that right? Yeah, so somewhere in that range. Okay, she was, was a shy little girl, but she had big plans and huge visions for her life. Okay, it's been quite a few crazy couple of months for this, this girl. Okay, I mean, she finished med school, she passed the boards. Interviewed and got her first job in the field, which is waiting for her. Okay. And, and now she's getting married. You know, I mean, you're quite the overachiever, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. But even more than that, you know, is I still cannot figure out how this little girl has such a big heart. I don't know how it fits. I truly don't. None of us do. Taryn's the kind of person we all hope to be, and she is just starting out. She has always had big plans, and she's never been afraid to do the work to make it happen. I really look forward to seeing the kind of partner, wife, doctor, even mom you're going to be. It'll be great, and we all know it. It'll, it'll be unreal. There are many times, though, when I, when I ask you or question you about you know, why you do certain things. Like I guess that's just talking to your dad about, hey, what is she thinking? What's the plan here? Okay? Like things like, do you really need another dog? Do you need another one? Really? <laughs> you know? And do you really want to live in Chicago? Of all the places, that's where you want to live. My favorite, though, is, do you know how much you sound like your mother? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you always give us good answers. You always figure it out. You know, Taryn, you're one of the smartest people right here ever met, okay? But you're not just smart. You find ways to accomplish so much, and you do it with grace and compassion for others. It's, people just don't do that anymore, and it's, it's, it's awesome to see it. This is a gift, and we're all so proud of you. Well, she's all grown up now, and, and we're sad, you know, we're proud at the same time. But I, for one, am happy because we do good work. Well, now, we want, we want to welcome Cal and his family into our family. Having a child grow up to be a good person does not happen by accident. And for this, we need to thank Susie and Mark. Okay, everyone give them a hand. The qualities, the qualities of your parents shines through into who you are and how you treat people. And we want to thank both of you again for creating a wonderful, wonderful man that she's happy with. Now, traditionally, this is where I'm supposed to offer you guys some kind of advice on your journey and to guarantee happy marriage. Okay? I, uh, have a drink of water. Thanks. Let me think about this a second. I don't really know. Um, Shelly, you got anything? She's got nothing. She's got nothing, everyone. All right, fantastic. Okay, moving on. All right. No, I really have something. But actually, actually, the pastor, or whatever I call the guy, which was awesome today, he stole my, my line, the Mark Twain one. He really did. Yes. Yes. So... So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adapt it a little bit, okay? Um, every day will not be perfect. Every day will not be easy. But it is easy for all of us to see that with you two together, it's easy to imagine the good times will far outnumber the trying ones. It's, it's going to happen. And one last thing. Your mother taught me this. When you're wrong, admit it. And when you're right, don't mention it. We know that everyone here agrees that Terry and Cal 
make an outstanding pair. They're like peanut butter and jelly. You know, they're gin and tonic. You know, pen and paper, hammer and nails. Anybody else got any? Anybody else? Barbie and Ken. Barbie and Ken. All right, perfect. Anybody else got any? Rum and Coke. All right, even better. See? Everybody knows. It's, it's obvious. Everybody knows. All right, so without further ado, please everyone raise your glass. And help me wish the very best to these two beautiful souls as they start out in their journey. Everyone here hopes that you too have all your dreams come true and that you share a wonderful life together. The journey out. Ladies and gentlemen,